Mr. Contest Master, fellow Toastmasters, most welcome guests, but most importantly, Holly. Holly, I don't know that I've ever heard you give a speech before, but I have to say, you came to the lectern, you were prepared, you looked great, and then you hooked us with a question and your opening, how many of you have your own businesses? I followed you through most of the speech and it was making a lot of sense. And then it seemed to kind of drag a bit. And I think you were derailed by not having the timing lights guide you in your presentation. We've all learned to follow the timing lights to tell us where we are in our presentation. So I noticed that you were kind of filling. The things that you have that really are an advantage to you are you have excellent eye contact. She makes contact with everyone in the room. She has a beautiful smile, so you like listening to her. It feels good as you look up at her. She's having a good time. You have passion, particularly telling us about your 4th of July cake, the red, white, and blue, the red strawberries, the blueberries. We could tell. This was something you love. What I would suggest is to consider that you clasp your hands. And I do it as well. But when you hold your hands clasped for a long period of time, it almost looks like you're praying or it's distracting. So drop your hands if you don't have a relevant reason to be having them up as part of the visual that people are perceiving. I liked your speech, and I liked that you had a call to action at the end. I wasn't sure that you actually were still doing consulting, but at the end, when you told us to call you, I felt certain that that was the case. And you may be hearing from me. Mr. Conscious Master. 